So how do the rich protect their assets from lawsuits? Hi, this is the business guy, the CEO of Asset Protection Planners, the nation's largest firm that protects assets from lawsuits. And today we're diving into the hidden fortress of the wealthy, asset protection from lawsuits. Now you may or may not be rolling in dough like Scrooge McDuck, but if your assets total up to a million dollars or more, or close to it, and a lawsuit might be threatening, you wanna stick around. And hey, if you find this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe or follow if you haven't already. It's free and I won't be sending pirates after you if you don't. But seriously, it helps us out a lot. Okay, let's cut to the chase. The rich love their privacy and they hate losing money. Who doesn't, right? So they harness the power of offshore asset protection trusts, especially those nifty ones in the Cook Islands. In fact, my team and I have set up more Cook Islands trusts than anyone on the planet, and I have a Cook Islands trust for myself and my family. Picture it like a financial fortress surrounded by a moat of shark-infested waters, the legal kind, not the Jaws kind. You control what goes in and comes out. You decide how your money tree is pruned, and we do this by sticking an international LLC inside of the trust. We make you the manager of the LLC and the initial signatory in the bank account. But when the legal hounds come knocking, our trusty company law firm can step in to protect you so that your fortress turns into an impregnable haven. So when your local court says, give me the money, our law firm in the Cook Islands says, sorry, you don't have jurisdiction down here. Your opponent subpoenas our trust company for your private information. They say, sorry, no can do. That same subpoena shield doesn't work with a domestic asset protection trust. A US-based trustee has no choice but to spill the beans on your private financial affairs so it's plastered all over the internet. But in our offshore trusts, your treasure remains private, untouched, safeguarded from lawsuits, divorces, or other misadventures down the road. Now you can have the fanciest trust in the world, but if a US judge can reach the money, it won't matter. So you need to put your funds beyond the reach of that greedy lawyer who wants to take it all away from you. So it involves offshore bank accounts. Now offshore banking isn't just for the elite. There are 41 offshore banks in the world that are stronger but even the strongest US bank. Look it up for yourself. The latest report by Global Finance says that of the 50 safest banks in the world, only one is in the US and it's number 42 on the list, some tiny farming bank in the Midwest. So going international, not only gives you stronger asset protection trusts, but better banks. Since everything is online anyway, in my experience, it's not much different than banking down the street. You can hold cash, you can trade stock, yes, even US stock and ETFs, which if you don't know, are similar to mutual funds. Moreover, you have powerful asset protection and a cloak of privacy worthy of a master spy. With your own Cook Islands Trust, even the most persistent US-based creditors can't break down the door. Want to know more? Check out assetprotectionplanners.com and follow my channel for more free information. Okay, now real estate. So moving on to real estate. I mean, many of us dream of that Beverly Hills or Miami mansion, but with a mansion often comes a huge red target for lawsuits. Now Zillow says one third of you smart cookies own your home outright, but what about the rest? What if you're looking at a marble staircase wondering, how can I wrap this up in a private trust? We'll gather around for story time. Trust me, it's better than your favorite show on Netflix. First, we put each property into a separate land trust for privacy of ownership. We set up an LLC in the most private state, Wyoming, to act as trustee. We add a virtual office in Wyoming and a nominee manager for privacy, and you control the Wyoming LLC. For rental properties, we set up an LLC in the state where the property is located, and we make the home state LLC the beneficiary of each land trust for lawsuit protection and extra asset protection. Finally, we strip the equity out of each property with an equity stripping lien. Two steps. First, we record a home equity line of credit mortgage lien payable to your international LLC. So no money changes hands, but it looks mortgage to the hilt. And then in about 1% of cases, we have a third party lender purchase the mortgages and place the proceeds into a you can't touch it account within your offshore trust. All right, let's talk shop, literally the business you own. 
Those babies are like catnip to lawsuits. But the rich have a trick up their sleeves, UCC1 liens. And they can create a fortress around your company. You slap a lien on the business and voila, it's as protected as a dragon's horde. But how does it work? Think of it as you're telling creditors, sorry folks, I've got a prior claim on the business and all assets of this brilliant company. Get in line. It's legal, it's cheeky, and it's a total buzzkill for anybody looking to snatch your hard-earned business assets. And like the mortgage lien we just discussed, first, it's a line of credit payable to your international LLC, and then rarely, if needed, a third-party lender buys the lien and puts the proceeds in an untouchable account in your offshore trust. Okay, now how the rich protect other assets. What about your sparkly assets? Grandpa's antique Rolex, the yacht you named after a nautical pun? Fear not, we'll slip those under the radar with trusts and LLCs and sprinkle an equity stripping slip not worthy of Houdini himself. Your valuables won't just be out of sight, they'll be off the grid, bound in layers of legal protection that would make even the nosiest intruder dizzy. So there you have it, a treasure trove of tips to keep your wealth safe from the legal brigands of the modern world. Remember, how the rich protect their assets is not about being filthy rich or paranoid, it's about being smart and being prepared. Think like the rich, protect like the rich, and maybe even if you're not bathing in caviar just yet, you'll sleep a little sounder knowing your assets are out of harm's way. Now, before you sail off into the sunset, remember our like and subscribe arrangement. It's the compass that guides this channel to new horizons. And hey, who knows? We might just find ourselves on a journey to unearthing more secrets of the financial high seas. I'm the business guy, the CEO of Asset Protection Planners. And until next time, keep your assets covered and your treasures tucked away. Call us or visit our website if you're ready to build your fortress or just fill out a free consultation form for a chat with a real life asset protection wizard. Safe sailing and may your assets always be out of reach. And just before you go, hit that notification bell so when we reveal more magic on protecting your wealth, you'll get it hot off the press. If you learned something new today, share this video with your fellow business pioneers. Thanks for watching and remember, the only thing that's better than making money is keeping it. This is The Business Guy. So is offshore banking and asset protection for tax evasion and helping criminals hide money? Welcome back, this is The Business Guy. And when we post videos on offshore asset protection, there's a minority of people who make comments such as, yeah, that's a great way for tax cheats and crooks to hide money. So today we're diving into this topic that's often misunderstood, offshore banking and asset protection. We'll also explore trust companies and offshore trusts used to shield assets from losses. Now here's a big question we need to address. Are these services just for tax evasion and helping criminals hide money? Well, the short answer is second, why do people set up offshore trusts? use offshore bank accounts and so on. And if you think lawsuit decisions are fair and right, if someone loses, they should just open up their bank accounts and let their opponents shovel as much money as they can from Europe. So now we'll talk about three things we do to weed out the bad guy. Then I'll talk about the our team of licensed attorneys isn't just qualified, their careers depend on 